everyone welcome to Wildcard Wednesday. I had planned on putting this video up yesterday but I attended a birth that came quite early but mom and baby are just fine. So here we go today we're going to make a fun little pinwheel card and I'm going to show you two really cute techniques. So the first thing we're going to need is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Just cut five and a half and fold it in half to make it five and a half by four and a quarter. Just your standard card size. Then we're going to need some light blue cardstock, and this measures four by five and one quarter. And then I'm using some paper from the uh, Welcome Neighbor Designer Series paper pad that Stampin' Up! had in the Celebrations uh, catalog, and this is cut five by three and three quarters. So we're going to just glue that down right now. So I've gone ahead and got that all adhered down. So we're just going to put our card base on the side. Okay, we're going to take our a contrasting piece of designer paper, which is the flip side of what we used for our card front, because this is double-sided paper. And then what I want you to do is fold this little piece. It is three and one quarter inch square. Fold it in half and then open it up and fold it in half again. So four squares there. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut from this end on each square just up to about a quarter of an inch from the middle. So we'll do that all the way around. Got a piece that looks like this. I want you to flip it over to the wrong side. On the right side, just put a little dot so you know where it is. Make a quarter turn, same thing. Another quarter turn, same thing. Now you're going to take any kind of hole punch with a small and the next thing we're going to do if we can is punch a hole in this right in the center here. There. So we've got a hole in each one of these corners. Next thing we're going to do, I've got a blue brad here and we'll flip it back over and we're going to take the brad and put it in our first hole. Then we're going to go to the next one. Put that in that one. And continue all the way around like that. You want the pink side up. Once you've got all four of them, poke it through that center one and you've created a pinwheel. There. So you're a cute little pinwheel and you can adjust it after. So that's going to go on the front of our card like this. We're going to cut a strip about maybe just a half an inch down and you can do it freehand if you want to. This is going to be the handle. So we've got our pinwheel here. You'll notice how I adhered it over to the side there. I'm also going to take some close to cocoa ink and sort of edge around the pinwheel so it pops off the page. And we're going to adhere our pinwheel on with dimensional tape or a glue dot there. And the very, very last thing we're going to do, and this is a really cute technique that I just saw on the Stampin' Up! Uh, Demos website. It's when you have to make a really tiny little bow, which I'd like to make for the handle. And this bow, it's called a fork bow. So you literally are using a four-pronged fork. You take your ribbon just across the base of the fork. The bottom piece here... This is a piece of 10 inch ribbon and it's about a quarter inch wide. The bottom piece here is going to be a little bit longer than the one that's lying on top. So you've got just simply like that. Then slide it up a tiny bit and hold on to it. It might seem kind of fidgety at first. Take the longer piece, tuck it into the tines right in the middle of the fork and just pull it tight. Just like that. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. The next thing you're going to do is take that piece that you just slid through, 
bring it down through the middle of the tines and tie a really tight knot. And I'm just going to put a double knot just for extra security. And then you just simply slide it off. And presto, you have a perfect little bow. So I'm going to trim my little bow and put it right at the base of my pinwheel. And the last thing I'm going to do from the polka dots and paisley set, I'm just simply going to take the stamps happy and just stamp it right there because this is a really happy card and I'm just using close to cocoa stamp and spot and we'll just stamp that happy right there. There. So we've got a really really cute three-dimensional pinwheel card. Might not be the best card for mailing but it'd be a great card for a little birthday greeting and I really like the monochromatic tone on tone the same print and then this one is lifted off the page with that inking and our tiny little fork bow there can you see that and the rhinestone so give this a try and we'll see you next time I won't be putting up that mini wildcard Wednesdays um, probably until the summer's over. I'm really, really busy with so many other projects that I just don't have time. But I'm not going to say I'm not going to do it, but I just won't be doing them weekly. Or, but I will be doing some, so stay tuned. And I hope you enjoyed this card. And thanks for continuing to watch. Bye-bye.